Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Helton's Computer Repair here with another video for you. If you're not a big fan of using the Oracle VM VirtualBox, because maybe it's not a program that you really like, and you've probably used a different program, maybe like VMware, then we understand that you probably want to get this program installed. Now technically there's the regular VMware workstation that's pretty much the pro version. And there's actually the pretty simple one that you just need to use for virtual computer on there, if you just need it for basic use. Then there's pretty much the workstation player, so. Pretty much we'll be showing you how to install the VMware Workstation Player. Let's go ahead and get started. So first thing you need to do is pretty simple. Just go ahead and open up a browser. I'm going to go ahead and just use Google Chrome. And once you get to there, go ahead and go to the search. And we're going to go ahead and type in VMware.com. Now, it's not going to be just simple. They're just going to click it, and it's right there on the downloads. You actually have to look for it because there are so many different programs and features. I remember when we had virtual computers running off with in computing. We had to work with the district school having to install this program. And pretty much it's called the VMware vSphere system. Pretty much another story that you need to look up how that worked. But all we're going to look for is select for products. And when you go to products, we're going to go ahead and scroll all the way down before you select it. And select desktop hypervisor. And once you get to there, there is the workstation player. Now technically we can probably select products. And let's see what comes up. And we can probably choose view all. And then when it comes to this, we're going to say products from A to Z. And we can probably search for it forever. But instead of making this so difficult again, there it is, workstation player. All you have to do is go to products, scroll down to see desktop hypervisor, then select workstation player, and it'll pretty much take us to this location. I actually will probably give you the shortcut for this just to make this even more easier for you so that you won't have to get to this difficult. And pretty much it tells us what the overview and features and more details about it. I'm not going to read this forever. It tells you what system requirements, what can be installed, what other type of support of virtual systems can be installed on there too. You probably need to read some of these cons considerations for this to be sure if your computer can support it. But here we are. We're gonna pretty much going to be showing you how to download it. So let's go ahead. When you get to there, you're going to see on the right side, you're going to see the download now. Go ahead and select it. And I'll take us to this next site. And I'll tell us underneath the VMware Workstation Player, you see the, vir the Windows Workstation 16 1.0 Player. Go ahead and select it and select Go to Downloads. And here we are, it comes to two different versions. Now, technically, if you have a Linux system, it will be able to be installed for it. And I'll probably later down the road probably make some more videos on Linux because lots of people don't know that lots of programs can't be installed in Linux. They just didn't know that they're not in the regular App Store. Not really App Store, they're kind of on their own menu, pretty much, depending on what type of system. There's so many different Linux ones out there. But pretty much, what we're going to do is select the one for Windows and select Download Now. And right now it's pretty much downloading the program, so I'm going to go ahead and just let it do its work. Once it's done downloading, I will go ahead and press run. Alrighty guys, so pretty much the download has been completed, so I'm going to go ahead and just open up this file. Depending if you get downloaded and it went to a different folder, just find out where you saved it at and then run the file. You'll probably be prompted that it just came up and press yes. And we're going to see for this program to come up. Here it is the VMware Workstation Player 16. Now technically over time the new version could come out to a next one so it might be a little different but we're currently on the 16 one. It'll probably be the same steps like the other ones and pretty much no different changes for it. But if it does let me know and I'll pretty much make a more updated version for you. So here we are. It tells us welcome to the new VMware Workstation 16 Player Setup Wizard. I am not going to read everything. You can look it up if you want to. I'm pretty much going to hit and press next. And it tells us about the license agreements that I am not going to read. If you want to, you can pretty much just look for it yourself. And pretty much you, all I'm pretty much going to do is press I accept the terms and license agreements and press next. And it tells us if you want to check the enhanced keyboard driver. A reboot will require for this feature. I'm not going to really need that. I don't think it's really needed. If it does to a point that it, you do want to enable, go ahead and check it and follow the procedures it tells you to restart. And so if you want to add workstations, console tools into the system path, I'm going to go ahead and leave it as, as is. And depending, it's going to be installed underneath the pretty much underneath program files underneath C drive. If you do have a different drive that has been set up, I'll probably make a video show you how to actually change the settings for new programs from new on to be saved on underneath a different hard drive and stuff like that. If you do know how to do it, go for it. If not, just leave it as is. And for the rest, I'm pretty much going to hit and press next. 
It tells if you want to check for product updates on startup. You don't have to keep this if you don't want to. You can uncheck it if you don't want to have the updates. I'm going to go ahead and allow it to get updates. And it tells if you want to join the VMware Customer Experience to improve program. I'm actually going to uncheck it because if not, I'm probably going to get more pop-ups and stuff about it. I really don't care about joining it. All we're going to do is go ahead and press next. It tells if you want to create a desktop shortcut and also bring shortcuts underneath the start menu programs folders. I'm going to go ahead and just leave this as is that I will create it. Press next. And it tells us the installation to begin the ins the install to begin the installation to go ahead and press install for it. Let it do its work. And here it is. It's doing its own work. So right now the icon just appeared on the left side. Windows is doing its own work, installing virtual network drivers. Depending if it is in process, your network might drop. It is very unusual, but that does happen sometimes. On it, you might be prompted to on new hardware two to come up. If it does pop up and prompts you, go ahead and press yes and allow those drivers to come up. It all depends what type of Windows you have. And here we are, it tells us that the VMware Workstation Player 16 is installed. So we're going to go ahead and press finish. So from that point, I technically don't need this anymore. I'm going to go ahead and just exit the browser. I don't know why I didn't exit ahead of time. And here we are, Virtual Workstation 16 Player. I'm going to go ahead and open it and see if it works. And right here, Again, this is the free version. Now, if you're using a commercial one for a business or something, then you understand you might be eventually get tracked back on there because we do check up what type of IP address you're using on there. But if this is just a personal use for non-commercial, then it is literally free. If it isn't, then you probably need to consider about purchasing a license if you do want to allow it. This is the free version for regular home use. So I'm going to go ahead and just leave this as is and press continue. And it tells you, thank you for using VMware Workstation 16 Player. So here it is. I'm going to go ahead and press finish. And here we are. It's a very similar, kind of like um, the virtual box from Oracle, but it's a little structure and a little different how it comes up. It tells us if you're going to get new updates every time, you can allow it, let them come up to skip this version. If you want to get information, you can just remind me later. We can just exit out. It's up to you. And this is pretty much it. Later down the road, I'll be showing you how to actually install some programs and stuff like that, how to create a virtual box, how to change them and how to convert them and compress them also you can be saved for to be moved around if you have a different operating system and stuff like that but this is pretty much it thank you for watching from helton's computer repair and i will see you on the next video thanks for watching guys if you just like this video then hit that button but if you like it and you want to see more hit that like button get subscribed comment and tell us what other tech videos you want to see consider checking out our merch store link in the video description and for the rest i will see you on the next video